Hi guys, my name is Danny Chavez and this serious video I'm going to show you how to install and work with Docusaurus which is basically it's an open source created by Facebook. Docusaurus allows to you like um, documenting any um, technical um, tutorial in order to provide uh, some guideline to anyone who wants to learn something new related to computer science or person who really feel passion about coding or some kind like that so let's move on to check that the next video about to how to, how to uh, install the Cusarios in your local computer so the first thing that you need to do according to that tutorial which is already described in the github page so the first thing is like to check if you already have some special tools that you need it. The first thing is check if you already have Node. If not, so you can download based on this description or link which I already provided to you. So the second thing that you need to check if you already have NPM which is basically the Node Package Manager. And if not, so you can download again. So it's really nice to work with a tool which is called uh, Jitbash. This give it to you um, freedom in order to move into your operating systems and if you want it you can download also uh, jar so once everything is set up in your computer so the first thing that you need to do is like um, create a folder so you can put any kind of name in this folder so on top of that so you are going to execute a special instruction in order to start to download the Cusario this instruction is something like this and once everything is fine with instructions, so just only hit enter and the installation process is going to start in your computer. It's, if everything is fine with the installation without any problems, so in order to deploy the Cusaurus in your local computer, just only execute this instruction into Jitbash and you are going to see the local host application is running in your web browser. Let's see how to install Docusaurus in your computer step by step. So the first thing that I'm going to do is like um, open up uh, Jitbash. So according to the tutorial, so uh, before to install Docusaurus, you should have some uh, different software or tool already installed in your computer. So the first thing that you are going to do is uh, check if you already have a Node.js so in my case I already installed Node so the thing in um, the step in order to check the version so just only input Node in space minus B and this give it to you the version that, that the Node that you already have in your computer so the second thing is try to check if you already have the Node package manager so in my case it's just only going to be like npm space minus b and this going to give it to you like um the version that you already have in your computer if you don't have any of this um tool so in the tutorial i'm going to put the link so you can download and install in your computer depending on your operating system that you are going to use so once everything is ready so uh, you need to the first thing that you need to create is, is a folder uh, this folder can be named uh, whatever you want so in my case it's going to be mkdir in the space i'm going to call a uh, project like an underscore docusau b2 right so on top of that this folder is going to contain uh, the installation folder basically so in my case, I already create a folder, so it's going to be ls, and then in cd project. So then once you are into the folder that you already created, so you need to um, execute a special command. It's going to be this command. Basically, it's going to download um, the Docusaurus from the internet, so it's going to be like npx and space that uh, Docusau. Docusaurus uh, slash init and add and then it's going to be next init 
And after in it, you can put uh, any name that you want. In my case, it's going to be like a project without T underscore docusau um, B2 in a space. So if you don't add this uh, word, which is called a uh, classic, so docusau is going to understand it's going to be uh, already installed the template, which is basically it's a default template. So in my case, it's going to be classic, and it is, it's really important to mention that uh, you can work uh, the Cusado with different templates, like for example Bootstrap or like for example uh, for Facebook, of course. So hit enter, and after that, and you are going to see the installation process. So once everything is ready, so in order to check that everything is ready, so in my case, I'm going to get into the folder which I already created for download the Cusario, so it's going to be CD project and then LS in order to list any kind of file so here we already have uh, the wall structure that the Cusario uh, creating our computer so now everything is, is look very good and in order to deploy the application in, in the local computer it's going to be like just only execute yarn space and room star and hit enter and you are going to see how to uh, deploy the client in the server and as you can see we are running uh, the Cusario in local computer this is the default template so this template already have uh, some main parts like in the top you will see the NAT bar which is basically um, you can put any uh, different um, link in order to um, show your tutorial based on the um, your information that you wanted to show to the user. Uh, you can change the, you can put a, a name to your site and you can add like a, a tag to your site and you can put it in dark mode or, or if you want it, of course and all these images are deployed into the index file and the bottom of the template which is, is called like a like nice footer so you can change it put any information that you want so in the next video we are going to describe um, basically the whole structure of the Cusario that already created in your local computer after complete the installation hi guys so this is the end of the video so I, I really I uh, hope you really enjoy this um, series of video. In, it's really nice to create this amazing um, tutorial for anyone around the world. So if you can see DocuSaurus provide a really nice documenting website in order to help to everyone to start a new uh, path in of if this person really want to share something new like a coding or program or APAs or whatever he wants to start to create it. So whenever you are ready, start to check again this tutorial and I hope to see uh, what kind of documenting website you want, really want to create. My name is was Danny Chavez and this series of tutorial and video was created for 2020 Facebook community challenge so thank you for watching this series video bye